Hi and welcome to a new video. Do you want to have your wallpapers change automatically every day or when you perform a specific action? You can set your wallpaper to change automatically at sunrise, sunset, before you sleep, any time of day or even while charging. In this video, I will show you how to do that. Let's go! Before you can set automatic wallpapers on your iPhone, you first need to save pictures that you would use as your wallpaper. Once the wallpapers you want to use is already saved on your device, open Photos. While you are in the Album tab, tap the little plus icon located in the top left corner. Select New Album, then name it. I will name mine Wallpapers, and I confirm by clicking on the Save button. Now add the photos you want to use and finish with Done. On my iPhone, I saved 12 images on the folder. And because I prefer portrait mode for my wallpapers, all of these photos are in that mode. Of course, you can still add more photos on your album in the future if you want to. Now, once you are done compiling all the images that you would like to use, it's time to create a shortcut using the Shortcuts app. This app is free and pre-installed on your iPhone, but if you don't have it for some reason, you can download it on the App Store. Open the Shortcuts app and choose the Automation tab from the bottom. Then click Add Automation by tapping on the little plus icon and select Create Personal Automation. This allows the automation to be activated in response to a specific action taken by your device. You can change your wallpaper by triggering this shortcut. You can change your background automatically, for example, when you leave a specific location such as home or work, before you sleep at any time of day or while you are charging. Because the easiest way I can demonstrate the background change is by turning on Airplane Mode. I will select the Airplane Mode option, then check the When Airplane Mode is turned on. If you choose off, the automation will only run when you disable the Airplane Mode. Shortcuts allow you to build different scripts that can run on your phone in a really simple way. Tap on Add Action to set up a new shortcut. I'd like to get my wallpapers from the recently created wallpapers album. So I begin by searching for the shortcut Find Photos and clicking on it when it appears. This will be added to your command list. It would now select wallpapers from all of your photos. To change this, click on Add Filter and browse to the folder where you saved your wallpapers. I saved mine in the album Wallpapers, so I'll look for it and tap on it. Then, you have a few more options including how to sort the search results. You must open Sort By and select Random, otherwise you'll always get the same wallpaper. Finally, limit the number of photos displayed on your iPhone per action so that you don't get a slideshow of images. Toggle the switch for Limit On and press the minus icon until Get One Photo appears. After that, we are going to add a second action by searching for Set Wallpaper and tapping on it. Then, you have the option to change your lock screen or home screen or both when the shortcut is enabled. If you tap on it, you can modify it to your preference. I personally like to have the same lock and home screen, so I'm not going to change anything and proceed by clicking Done. Because of the first action we already created, it is automatically using the wallpaper saved on your Photos app. The next thing you should do is tap on the little arrow pointing to the right and turn off Show Preview. I want it to run silently in the background and I don't want a prompt asking me if I want to change my wallpaper. There is also Perspective Zoom which is totally optional, but I prefer mine to be enabled. So what Perspective Zoom does is it moves your wallpaper every time you tilt your screen. After you click on Next, you will be directed on the confirmation screen where there is a toggle that says Ask Before Running. Turn it off because you don't want to confirm every dialog box when you run a shortcut. But if you don't have that option, you could still get notifications when the shortcut is being used. There was no simple way to disable shortcut notifications in iOS 15.3 before. Fortunately, Apple has included an option in the latest iOS 15.4 update that allows you to turn off notifications for individual automations. To find out which software version is installed on your iPhone, go to Settings, tap on General, then click Software Update, and you can now see your current iOS version. 
If you have the new update installed, after disabling Ask Before Running in the Shortcuts app, another prompt will appear asking you to notify when running. If you turn it off, there will be no notification asking for a permission to run while the wallpaper changes. If you haven't installed it yet, I'll explain how to disable this annoying pop-up in a second. Press Done in the upper corner and you will now see it there on the list of automations. The shortcut is now set up and ready to go. I want to test it out if it actually works, so I'll go back to Home and open Control Center to enable Airplane Mode. As you can see, my wallpaper automatically changes. However, if there is a notification that informs you that the Shortcuts app is running an automation, you can turn it off even if you don't have the iOS version 15.4 and later installed. Go to Settings, then tap on Screen Time and press See All Activity. Scroll down all the way to the bottom until you get to the Notification section. You would see the shortcuts option below the bar graph that you can click if you have the iOS version 15.3 or older. Then there would be a field asking you to allow notifications and you can disable it. If you want to know how to automatically change your wallpapers with focus mode, click on the videos on the tag above or in the description below. And that's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.